I think for all of us, we had objects in our lives that just spoke to us. Whether it's your grandfather's old hand planer or that rocking chair that just begged you to ask, where did this natural patina come from? Cerno is very much a pure and raw, authentic manifestation of what Daniel, Nick, and I were doing as kids and just following that passion. Whether that was building a sailboat and exploring the local islands, hopping in an RV that was barely roadworthy and driving to the Canadian border, well, let's go try to do it. And I think Cerno very much embodies what our friendship was all about back then, which was trying new things, pushing the boundaries, having fun, going on adventures. These meaningful but small endeavors ultimately laid the path to creating Cerno. We were drawn to lighting from day one because it sits at the center of this intersection where beauty, technology, utility meet. Daniel, Nick, and I, one of the first things we ever built was a sailboat. Sailboats are possibly the quintessential example of that. This idea that you can create something that's highly functional and also pure beauty, art, that's, that's incredible, it's fun, it's exciting. It's what breathes new energy into our entire process and keeps our passion alive every day. We're trying to create beautiful pieces that actually have the power to transform your environment. Original design is something we've talked about forever. It's paying homage to the greats that came before us, but then not getting stuck in any one single lane. I think we always need to be pushing our own boundaries, getting out of our comfort zone. That's when the best work around here is created. Ultimately, when we are challenging ourselves, innovative forms come out of that, and our customers and clients win because we're giving them something new to work with. When everything is made under one roof, and the designer and the team making it are in constant conversations about how to make something better, there's this beautiful natural feedback loop that happens, which allows the products to continually get better. So for our customers, they're never living with something that didn't meet our standards, which if something is outsourced, we might not have the oversight we would like to make sure it's being produced to the level and quality that we want. What Daniel and Nick and I were chasing as kids was that visceral high you get when you take an idea and turn it into a finished product. What we try to create for our own team is that same satisfaction. We are constantly striving to create an environment where people enjoy what they do and they take more care in it. And that just results in producing better products for our customers.